The twelfth chapter of Hebrews comes after the eleventh chapter. Now the eleventh chapter is known as the Hall of Faith. It's one of that classic chapters in this book that really gives to us as examples so many of the men and women of God that lived by faith. So in chapter one, listen to what the author writes. He says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily trips us up. And let us run with endurance the race that God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, disregarding its shame. And now he is seated in the place of honor beside God's throne. I love this. The author shares all these examples of individuals who simply placed their trust and faith in God. And then he encourages you and me to run the race of life that God has given us. How do we do that? How do we endure? We fixate our eyes on Jesus. See, today there's so many things that your eyes could be, well, giving time and attention to. Endlessly scrolling on a screen, taking in content for entertainment or for education or work-related. And all those things may be necessary, some of those things may be good, but listen, fix your eyes today on Jesus, the author, and the finisher of our faith, the one who, as Hebrew says, is seated there in heaven, meaning he's in control and on the throne. So no matter what happens in your day, know this, Jesus is still in control. And just like all those who've gone before us, let's run our race with endurance, fixing our eyes on Jesus. Let us strip off any sin, like it says here in Hebrews, that distracts us or weighs us down. Because truly, the best thing to do with today is to live today for Jesus.